Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the sixth war of the season, season 26, and we're going up against an alliance called Chile by Campion. I have no idea if I said that correctly. All right, but we are going to scout out my paths and the minis and formulate our attack. All right, let's go on in. And okay, so I won't be the first one over here. That's good. So first up, I'm going to have to fight Mordo. He's annoying to fight, but we shouldn't have too much of a issue with him uh, as long as he plays ball. Then we've got, right, we've got a call here, aggression armor. Um, also not a problem. I'm probably going to use uh, Nick Fury on both of these. In case Mordo, you know, does a little crazy something. Uh, and then, ooh, this mini. Uh, I would normally use someone like Omega Red. But Black Widow, Clairvoyant, who is the other member of my attack team, can do that fight. So, if need be, I can use her for that fight. All right. Let's move on here. Middle. We've got Kingpin and a Nick Fury on that Mixmaster node. Uh, I will probably not tackle them unless I was asked. Oh, and then we've got ourselves a Havoc. That is a good placement for him, by the way. This is EMP modification. Havoc requires, you know, some pretty interesting counters uh i normally bring warlock and he can do that fight but warlock also has an armor up and i worry about the uh, emp modification uh on that normally warlock is a great counter uh for havoc so not sure I may not use Havoc. I may, I mean, I may not use Warlock. I may try to just go full force if I'm the one taking him, pop a invulnerability boost and use Nick Fury and just go. All right. And we've got Colossus on uh, this first node in section two. Black Widow Clairvoyant can take that. And they didn't put anyone on this node. Now that's interesting. Usually, if you're going to leave a defender out, you'll leave the defender off of that first node because those nodes are a little bit easier. All right. And then we've got Iron Man Infinity War. Um, I don't have anyone that is in particular good for that fight, but Warlock can do that fight. All right. So let's move over here. We've got Mini Boss Island. And although I don't usually take any of the fights on the bottom right hand side uh, i could be called upon to do uh, one of those fights i don't have anyone that is particularly good at any of those fights however that i'm planning on bringing then we've got um vision arcus black widow clairvoyant can do that one uh killmonger that is an annoying fight if my Nick Fury is, you know, in good shape, might use him uh, if I need to. And then you have Sorcerer Supreme. And again, it's a good Nick Fury fight. If he's in good shape, still have Life Model Decoy active and all of that. Just go ham and uh, just know you're going to have to tank, you know, a special three if she doesn't fire off her specials. Uh, so we'll see. Ideally, we really want someone who has power control uh, to do that fight. Really good power control. Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant can do it, but not ideal for that node. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get the fighting started, and I'll be back to commentate over the fights. So see you in a minute. All right, so... This is the team I'm going in with, my regular standard team. And I'm sitting here looking at it carefully 
If you saw my last video, you'll know why. I wanted to make sure that I had everyone that I intended to bring right there on that screen. I made my list, checked it twice, made sure, okay? Now, this first fight is against Mordo. Now, there's nothing really special about fighting Mordo, except sometimes he doesn't want to throw his specials. Sometimes he turtles up. Sometimes he really just wants to fight and um, throw his special three. All right. So you see here, he's got the power gain, but Nick Fury put that bleed on him. All right. So now I got to bait out the special two. We were able to do that. No problem. And we're just going in, put them bleeds on him. And I take blocked hits so that I can bait out his heavy attacks like that. Um, sometimes he does it. Sometimes he doesn't. And he's down. So he played ball. I didn't have to eat a special three, but that's why I brought Nick Fury. In case I had to eat a special three, uh, Mortal special three does not do a lot of damage, but I like to have that safety net that the life model decoy brings, which is why I love Nick Fury. And if I can get my six star awaken, he's going up. He's definitely going up and he will start uh, coming to war with me. All right, now, Cull Obsidian, he's got no immunities. So he's very easy to fight, as long as you know how to evade all his specials, like that one. Uh, I used to get caught by that. It would come out a little bit quickly and just catch me. I didn't dash back, I didn't have the distance on it uh, correctly. Uh, but yeah, see all of that? Just have to get out of the way, really easy to evade. Uh, so uh, no problems here. Uh, and of course on this path, I like using Nick Fury because he doesn't really need to run, uh, fire his specials off, and I do run suicides. Uh, but we do take a little damage every single time because Nick Fury also doesn't have any immunities, at least the life model decoy doesn't. Uh, so he uh, will take the bleed and the poison damage every single fight. Fortunately, we don't have that many fights, so we don't have to worry about it. All right, so. Now I was eyeing this mini from before when I was scouting out the path and I was like, you know what? No one asked me to take the mini. I'm gonna take the mini anyway. It's Korg and I know how to fight Korgs. I tend to fight him similar to how I fought Mordo. Uh, bait out his heavy attacks, get him to a special and then evade the special. Now Black Widow Clairvoyant, she doesn't take any damage back as you may notice because um, I think she does energy damage. So she's not taking any uh, damage back, okay? Uh, so great, great option for fighting uh, Korg. I usually fight Korg with Havoc or Omega Red, but Black Widow Clairvoyant, she's my girl. And shout out to Dorky Diggity Dave, that special one, Evade, is thanks to Dorky Diggity Dave because I didn't know how to evade that special one. I would always get clipped by it. And I watched a video he had made on how to evade it. And ever since then, I've been able to evade it without any difficulty. Uh, I, I play a little game with myself. And if I get clipped by it, then I can't finish the fight until I evade one. I only do that in uh, Arena, not in Alliance War, but Arena. Uh, I will do that. All right, so you saw that kingpin. Someone else took that kingpin down. Now we can uh, continue on to uh, section two, where I take path three. And we're gonna be fighting our friend Colossus. Uh, and like I said, Colossus is actually a really good um, person to put on that node. It's just that Black Widow Clairvoyant is like the perfect counter, okay? Uh, so I'm boosting just a little bit here, uh, not necessarily for this fight, but I was asked to take a mini later on in the fight, a uh, Vision Arcus. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and use these up. You know, why not? Um, <clears throat> I have a bunch of 30% boost because I got the offer for Cavalier, uh, but I'll, I'll use those up some other time. I used a couple of them uh, for my um, Karina challenges. I did two 
Karina challenges and I boosted up both times. Um, I still have not finished Variant 7. Maybe I'll boost up for that. Um, I, I finished the completion, but I haven't finished the exploration. So I might boost up to explore Variant 7. Um, or 6.4. I still haven't explored 6.4. I did 6.1, 6.2, 6.3. Just got 6.4 to go. Uh, so I will use up those boosts. Got plenty to use them for. Uh, and they're all in my overflow because I was maxed out from the last time I got the offer. Uh, I just don't tend to use them that much. All right. So as I mentioned before, we were asked to take this vision Arcus. You can see on the right hand side, they've already cleared that side out, which is usually what happens. Someone else comes in, boosts up, they bring counters for the fights on that right hand side. And then they just clear it all in one go. Sometimes that same person is the one that also takes the boss. Um, so now I'm fighting this Vision Arcus here. And she's great for fighting Vision Arcus. Uh, if you don't know, uh, as long he gets a power game buff. Okay, see he's got a power game buff there. And when he has a power game buff, that's when he gets all his crazy um, abilities, armor breaks and cold snap and all of that but she can nullify it and see she just she keeps nullifying his power uh game buff so that i don't have to worry about the extra damage okay so she's a great option uh, i still have to be careful especially when the ai does this doesn't want to fire this special all right finally we get the special done and there we go uh this is also a rage node i hit him a little hard and so i got a fury but she nullifies the fury as well so she's great for this. And you'll notice I am blocking those special two attacks. I watched the summoner showdown. And for the first time ever, I saw someone fully evade that. So I know it's possible in a competition at that. That was that was awesome. I'm not that guy. All right. I need to block those. And of course, if the AI plays a little bit passively, they'll get the power gain and they'll keep getting their special two. Uh, but as you can see, I'm not losing a lot of health from healing. I mean, from, uh, getting hit on my block with that special too. All right. See, as long as I don't try to evade it, we're good. All right. And you see here, got a little bit of my health back. Boom. Just in case I needed to use uh, black widow clairvoyant for another fight, but I didn't. Okay. So that is it for my participation in this war. Those are all the fights that I had to uh, do there. So after a little intermission, we will come back and you will see exactly how this war ended. And no, I did not fight that killmonger. Somebody else did. And unfortunately, as you can see, we lost this war. So this season, we are about 50%. We've won three wars and we've lost three wars i don't know where we're going to end up uh for the season uh but if we want to get platinum three we need to pick up the pace we need to start winning our wars and stop losing wars in this war here uh they died less than we did and they had better diversity than we did so they beat us all around uh, but hopefully we will pick it up and do better for the rest of the season. We're halfway done. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.